Thank you for coming back to my channel. Please subscribe, leave your thumbs up, and leave your comments. Y'all, have you ever heard of Del Watson? He is real country music. He, the stars today needs to watch him and take notes. Uh, he's got the real country sound. He's got the real country look. And he don't mind telling you how much he loves real country music. He is outspoken when it comes to his love for real traditional country music. Del Watson, his songs, I love every one of his songs that I've heard. And uh, just some of them, listen to these titles. I mean, these titles sound country. I lie when I drink. Jones and for Jones, that song is written for George Jones after George Jones passed away. How he misses George Jones's music. I'm Jones and for Jones. That's country my ass. That's his message to all the country country singers today because what they're calling country is just country my ass feeling haggard this is a song that del watson wrote about his feelings when he found out that merle haggard had passed away him and ray Benson from Asleep at the Wheel recorded this song. It's a very good song. Feeling haggard since haggard ain't around. A real country song. This is his message to the country DJs today. Telling them how he feels and that he just wants to hear a real country song. Y'all, if y'all have never heard these songs, look them up on YouTube. You will be glad you did. Del Watson is the real deal country singer. A good portion of his hits are written from his live shows. He will start out one line and go around the room and let his audience do the next line. And they're recording so he can go back and doctor it and fix it up and make it into a real country song. But most of his songs are written with him and his fans on his shows. What other way can you let a, star, let a fan know that you love them and you care about them than to write a song with them? Del Watson is based in the Lone Star State. Y'all know, they call Nashville, Tennessee, the country music capital of the war world. That might have been true at one time, but today the Lone Star State is the country capital of the world. Because the spin doctors and record executives and all in Nashville has just destroyed real country music. There's a lot of stars in Nashville that wants to sing real country music but the executives won't let them because they're trying to make as much money as they can. Country music to them is just a way to make money. These stars that's in the Lone Star State, they still do it for the love of the music, the passion that they have burning inside of them for real country music. They do it for their fans. You may have seen Del Watson on The Late Show, and you could have seen him in a few Coca-Cola commercials. Del Watson's getting around in a lot of different places. If you have never seen Del Watson and you're longing for real honky-tonk music, check him out on YouTube. I know you're going to love him. He is everything real country music used to be. 
And if you remember a few years back, Blake Shelton making that remark about people that likes old country music. Blake Shelton said that they're all just a bunch of old farts. Well, Dale Watson didn't take too kindly to that remark, and he wrote a song about it. The name of the song is Old Farts, and he addresses it to Blake Shelton. In the song, he says, point blank, he'd rather be an old fart than a fart smeller. Y'all, this is the reason why I don't like Blake Shelton today. I cannot stand him. I think there's no place in country music for him. But Del Watson is the real deal country music star. Check him out if you've never seen him. I know you will love him. He reminds me he's a mix between Johnny Cash, Merle Haggard, and Carl Smith. You take those three and tie them all together, you've got Del Watson. Y'all, well, I, I messed up there. You got four. You got to put George Jones in there, too. He's a mix of all four of them. Can you tell that I really love Del Watson? I wish the radio would play him, but he's just too country for today's country music radio. And that's sad because real country music is what the fan wants. And you know, the only way the fans can get real country music is to quit listening at today's radio. Quit buying their music. Quit going to their concerts and demand real country music. This is what we want, and we won't take any less. If we wanted to listen to rock and roll music, we would turn it to a rock and roll station. Now, that being said, I do like a lot of good rock and roll music. The thing that really makes me mad in today's country music is they call it country, and it's far from being country. If you've never heard the song by Justin Tubb, he's... Hang, uh, he's Ernest Tubbs' son, What's Wrong With The Way That We're Doing It Now? Also, look that up on YouTube. That explains the whole thing about country music in a nutshell. He says, What's wrong with the way that we're doing it now? What's wrong with fiddle and steel? What's wrong with telling the world that you're country, if that's how you really do feel? Let's not make it better. Let's just make it country. It's gotten us by up till now. So, hey, Mr. DJ, if you won't play it, well, friend, you're just proving my point. Justin Tubb wrote a damn good country song. Y'all, check Justin Tubb out. What's wrong with the way we're doing it now? Also, check Dale Watson out. I know you'll love him. Until next time, ciao.